Hi, Abby. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Well, I'm excited to collaborate with you on this project. I love your copywriting strategies, and I can't wait for the training that you're going to bring to the Become Influential Virtual, Become Influential Virtual Summit on June 8th through 12th. <laughs> You'll be speaking on Thursday, June 11th about copywriting, and I'd love to talk a little bit about your journey into becoming a, a copywriting expert. Sure, absolutely. So when I started, I had no degree in anything. Um, I've dropped out of college twice. Uh, I had no experience and I had no real clue what a copywriter was. Um, so that is really all you need to get started and build a very successful career, I would say. Um, <laughs> I started copywriting um, because I was living abroad, as I am now, but in between I've been back in the States. Um, and I spoke English as a first language and I felt that I could use that to my advantage. And uh, so I got a job and they, I was hired initially as a junior copywriter, but the person who was hired as the senior copywriter quit the next day. So they were like, guess what? You're a senior copywriter. And I was like, oh, cool. Do I get paid more? And they were like, no, um, don't be silly. So I quickly discovered what copywriting was. Um, and uh, basically what would happen was somebody would come into the office and say, you know, we need you to write about either this product or this service. And I would ask really, really detailed, intelligent questions like, what is it? And what do you want people to know about it? And they would tell me, and then I would write that. And, and that is basically how it started. Um, and I did that for about a year-ish, I want to say. And then I was married and I got pregnant with my first baby. And when I had my baby, I was like, oh, I don't want to go back and work in the office. I would rather be at home. So I decided I was a freelance writer and I really had no clue what that meant or how I would make money or who would pay me but I was like you know what I am a reasonably intelligent human and I can figure this out and that is pretty much what I've been doing for the last 20 years figuring it out so <laughs> and you've learned a bit in the past two decades I have a little bit yeah yeah so now you've got I mean you offer copywriting services but you also are teaching and not only teaching copywriting, but you're teaching like the whole business back end too. So yeah. that people who find themselves in your shoes that want to be a freelance copywriter aren't going to have to like build the wheel from scratch. Right. Like, cause back in the day, you guys got to bear in mind, I'm really, really old. I'm 44. So when I started doing this, like online courses were not a thing. Google wasn't even a thing. I used Alta Vista as a search engine. So like when I was looking for information, most of the time I, I moved back to the States and I would like go to the public library. Like I would, you know, get in my car and drive to the library and like look things up in the card catalog and find books and read them. Um, so you have it really good now with the internet at your fingertips and you can access all this information. So it's true. I do now, um, I teach moms how to get started in freelance writing and build a successful freelance writing business. Um, and I love talking about copywriting and teaching those copywriting strategies. And I do still also work with clients. I love having my hands in all the things. Um, yeah. And it's just, I mean, really, I'm all about building a business that, that is, fun and brings joy to your life. Uh, I don't do things that I don't like. So like I don't do my taxes. I pay somebody else to do them. I don't do any of the things that don't bring me joy. I focus on the things that I love, like writing and teaching. So yeah. And your family has also grown. You've got five kids now, right? Yes. There are a lot of children in this house. I was um, like, are five. you counting to make sure you didn't miss any? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> there are five of them. And, um, you know, for context, we're recording this in, what is this, May? May. And it's still, we're still in Corona times. So all five of them are here. My kids are a little bit older because I am very old. So they are now ages 10 and a half through 20. And oh my God, they're like, actually, they're almost 11 through almost 21. That's crazy. Um, so yes, yeah, so my kids are a little bit older and they're all here. And it's super exciting. Um, it's totally positive. There's no downside to having all of them here at all. 
Awesome. And I just love highlighting that because you've accomplished so much and you, you teach all these, these skills, but you're also walking the walk as a busy parent. So you're, you're handling all of the excitement that five children brings to you. And I've got four and on most accounts, I have a big family. So you're right up there. You, you beat me out for the big family award. Actually, that's not true. I don't know if you've met Jen Taylor. She's presenting on Monday at the summit. She's mom of 18. So she's, oh my goodness. She's probably the winner, but still big family and, and juggling all the things. So let's, (laughs) so let's talk about your presentation and what we are going to learn by showing up. Cause this isn't just for um, people who want to be a copywriter. This session is, is going to be perfect for you if you are not a copywriter and you're right. in a business that needs copy. You want to have more clients. Like if a thing that you care about is making money and getting more clients, then this is going to be really helpful for you. Um, so yeah, so good copywriting. Copywriting in general, let's go ahead and define that because a lot of people have you know questions, what is exactly copywriting? So copywriting is specifically any writing that is driving people to take a specific action. Generally speaking, that action is buy this thing right? Um, But it might not be. It might be subscribe to this podcast or um, sign up for this mailing list or book a call. But generally speaking, um, it's it's by this thing. So copywriting is the kind of writing that gets people to take that specific action. And the thing that drives us to buy is emotion. We don't make rational decisions because we're not like they call in, in the, the world of economy, they talk about econs and humans. So like somebody who would be totally rational, but would be an econ and would make all of their decisions grounded in logic. That's not us. We're humans. And in particular women, we're very emotional. So we make our decisions driven by emotion. So good copywriting taps into emotion. And the best way to do that is with stories that really put the reader in the center. So a lot of people, when you're, if you're a business owner and you're, um, let's say you're writing for your website, your about me page. So you might be tempted to think that that page should be about you. I wouldn't blame you if you thought that because it's called about me, right? However, it should not be about you. It should not be about you like at all. It should really be about your ideal clients and how you serve them, how their lives are going to be better after they work with you. And it's this very subtle but important shift to make in your thinking. When you start remembering that you're not the hero of the story and your potential clients are the hero of the story, that's going to make everything you write be much, much better right off the bat. So there's a little, you know, teaser of the kind of stuff you're going to learn in in this session in more detail, but right off the bat, there you go. And I have to tell myself, don't ask all the questions because this will turn into an hour interview and then there will be no reason (laughs) <laughs> to attend the summit. <laughs> so don't ask all the questions. I love that. And I think that it's beautiful because it, it makes a lot of sense, but it also, I've gone through the process of trying to like rewrite my about me page and trying to keep those things in mind. And then it's not intuitive and it is not easy. And it's, that's, that's exactly why this session is, is so needed. Um, And why everybody needs to make sure that they, (laughs) that they are signed up for their free ticket and that they attend on Thursday. No, a hundred percent. There's really a system and I'm going to walk you through the system for making sure that you know exactly how to do this, not only in your about me page, but in every other piece of writing that you put out in the world, whether that's writing that you're putting out about your own business for your own business to connect with clients. Or if you decide, Hey, I'd really like to explore copywriting as the way I serve clients and the way I make money, then, you know, then you would be doing this work on their behalf. Right? So these are tips that are going to serve you. I'm going to show you a very cool system for making sure that you get this stuff right. And it's going to be awesome. And it should be good across the board, right? So email, social media, website, sales pages. I mean, this is, yeah. globally applicable. All of this stuff, like what I'm going to show you, it works no matter what you're writing. You know what? It, it's, it's more than that. It also works when you're, when anytime you want someone to take a specific action. So let's say 
you want your husband to pick up something from the grocery store on his way home, I'm going to show you how to make that happen. Ooh. It's pretty cool. It's like well, magic. It's even more exciting. Like yeah, now it's, it's not just business. Now we're. No, it's, you're, I'm going to rock your world. It's will so it free. work for my 12 year old? It might. So I don't make any guarantees with regard to, you know, children because they kind of suck sometimes. I love them dearly. I mean, whatever, but like they are completely unpredictable and you just can't. Yeah, it's, it's impossible. I'm sorry. I, I like, I'm really, really good at what I do, but I'm not magic. So it's okay. I feel like being able to manipulate the significant others and the adults in our life yeah. will mm-hmm. be a, a very welcome side effect from this presentation. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. I feel like this was super fun and I definitely cannot wait for your session. So if you haven't already gotten your ticket, head over to becomeinfluential.com where you can grab your free ticket. Abby will be presenting on Thursday, which is our day focused on marketing and obviously copywriting is essential for marketing. So make sure you do not miss her session. Thank you so much for everything you're doing to contribute to this summit, Abby. Thanks for having me. See you there.